there's no reason to try and convince everybody that what you do is great, or even one person that what you do is great. Just be yourself, and your own voice will come through, and there are people out there who will like it. Hey, Jared here from SoundGuitarLessons.com. I'm excited to share with you just a little clip from an interview that I did with Rob McKillop. Rob McKillop specializes in playing classical guitar without nails, among many other things. He's a fantastic guitar player with a lot of wisdom and perspective. And I grabbed this little clip from the interview that I think will be very inspiring and helpful. It's about finding one's voice on the guitar. Without further ado, I will let him speak, and then I'll say a few words after the clip is over just your perspective on all this stuff is so wise and just so grounded you you do what works for you you do your own thing and you have your sound and you have your perspective is that ever challenging to maintain and has it been you know especially on the internet as someone putting stuff out there and you get pushed back do you feel pretty grounded in like no i'm you know doing my thing and and this is what works for me you know when i started performing I, i said to myself just be yourself because yeah. if you're not being yourself, who are you being? Yeah, and that scared me that I could possibly put on a persona and become someone else. So I, I'm just myself. You know, I, I, this is the way I think and play, and uh, it's maybe not the most perfect technique in the world, but I, I communicate with people, mm-hmm. and I think finding your own voice in all of this and all the clatter that goes on around the noise around how to play guitar if you can find your own voice something unique and and maybe it's just a a small thing that is yours then that's very you know a beautiful thing is to be protected and it will come under attack no matter what it is if you say this is uh, an E string, there'll be people on the internet tell you you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, it's just it's a strange place. So you've got to, uh, <laughs> yeah. you've you've got to. Uh, it's actually tuned down the tone, yeah. three nine two pitch, so it's not an E. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, you've you've got to find a little kernel of something that is you, and then so that's the beginning point. You know, the beginning point isn't getting a tremolo technique. Or, or getting your technique so perfect that then you can impose it on the music. And uh, I go off, I teach a lot uh, online, and I, I, I'm always telling the students that uh, allow the music to teach you how to play guitar. Mm. You know, you don't, learn, you don't learn technique in the abstract and then impose it on the music. A lot of people do that, and it sounds like they're doing it. Um, mm. I, I prefer to let the, the score... So every time I get a new score, it's like I have a new teacher. You know, this is about teaching me how to play guitar. And I've got to be attentive to what it wants. And then I have to find a way of, of bringing that out. Wow. So I'm not, I don't feel I'm imposing, but I, I do realize that I play slightly different from other people, mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people. Um, but I have my voice, and some people like it, and some people don't, and that's enough. That's fine. You know? mm-hmm. There's no reason to try and convince everybody that what you do is great, or even one person that what you do is great. Just be yourself, and your own voice will come through, and there are people out there who will like it. You know? That is gold. <laughs> that is gold, Rob. That is the best of anything that should be being said on the internet right now. I think more of that. <laughs> is that is fantastic if you liked that or if that was inspiring show rob some love i'll put a link in the description to his youtube channel go subscribe to his channel or check out his website rmclassicalguitar.com where he has years and years of writing and research on this topic of playing classical guitar without nails and he has a discography out there he has music books published uh so check out his work Uh, he's been doing this for a long time and he's just a fantastic guitarist and musician and i'm grateful to have connected with him and interviewed him unfortunately a lot of that interview the audio got damaged and we can't use the whole thing but i was very happy to have salvaged this little clip and hopefully we'll be doing a round two and get a full interview out there that's it show rob some love hit like on this video if you liked it as well and let me know what you thought in the comments and i will see you next week as i am still in the process of finishing up my video series on playing classical guitar without nails so more on that coming up very soon thanks so much take care and happy practicing